Bananas, apples, oranges, they're all pretty normal, right? I mean, they're delicious, but you see them in pretty much everyone's fruit bowl. Boring. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could fill your fruit bowl with rare or unusual fruits instead? Well, you can. From red bananas to fruit that looks like a hand, here are 15 most amazing and rare fruits in the world. Number 15. Red Bananas Bananas are yellow, right? Then they're brown, then they're black, then they become banana bread. But surprisingly, those aren't the only colors in the banana rainbow. You can also purchase red bananas, which are reddish purple bananas that are much chubbier and smaller than your standard yellow banana varieties. You can peel back the outer layer when they're ripe and reveal a creamy to light pink flesh on the inside. <laughs> Take a bite and you'll notice that they're sweeter and softer. Some even come with a slight raspberry flavor just to blow your mind even further. Surprisingly, these red bananas are sold in several places around the world from exporters in Asia, East Africa, the United Arab Emirates, and South America. Purchasers in Central America love them as a type of aphrodisiac juice, and those in India eat them to help with fertility. The best time to eat these red bananas is when they are maroon or deep red in color. They should also be slightly soft and unbruised. Even though they are slightly more expensive than yellow bananas, they provide you with more vitamin C, potassium, iron, and beta carotene than your standard Cavendish snack. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. A quick browse on the internet in the right place will see you being able to enjoy many different videos of rare Chinese apples. These apples have been crossbred to change their colors. How do you like them apples? No, seriously, how do you like them? We want to know. Would you eat an apple that was anything other than red or green? And do you think they are only those colors, or is there some black magic going on? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Monstra Deliciosa when something has deliciosa in the name, it's okay to get your hopes up. As the name suggests, they are delicious. It's actually the fruit of the Monstra Deliciosa that has everyone licking their lips, not the popular houseplant itself. The fruit of this plant are up to 10 inches long and look like green ears of maize with hexagonal scales. When the fruit ripens, the scales fall off and a delicious sweet scent wafts up your nostrils. They kind of smell like pineapple or banana. Sure, the fruit doesn't look edible, but it is safe for humans. You just have to time it right. The fruit will take about one year to reach maturity, and you'll know it's almost time to harvest when you notice the lowest scales starting to go yellow. You notice a strong odor as it starts to ripen, and that smell gets stronger the riper it gets. However, as soon as it's completely ripe, you barely notice a smell at all. Now you can tuck in. Cut the flesh away from the core, which is kind of like pineapple and almost tastes like pineapple as well. Be careful not to eat it when it's unripe, as it can cause rashes in your throat. That sounds awful. Number 13. Hella Fruit If any fruit you stumble across looks like an exploding planet, you probably won't want to try it. After all, how can anything so unusual to look at be something you can eat? Typically, unique means poisonous. Well, not in the case of the Hella fruit from the Hella tree. This large piece of fruit may not look normal, but it is delicious and worth a try. It consists of several cones or keys around a core and grows on Hella trees in eastern Australia, Hawaii, the Pacific Islands, and Southeast Asia. 
you can pick these fruit off hella trees, which grow up to 45 feet tall, with spiny trunks over 30 feet wide. The fruits themselves can be nearly 12 inches long, with dozens of segments of about 8 inches long. As the fruit is one large ball of segments, you often have to use a claw hammer or similar tool to first remove a couple of segments. Then you can pull out the others and eat them. Don't just bite into them, though. The outer green part can be quite fibrous. So instead, chew on the inner end to squeeze pulp from the inside out. It's certainly not as easy to eat as a banana is, but the delicate, sweet flavor won't disappoint. Number 12. Keppel Move over, Apple. There's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Keppel. Keppel, Keppel fruit, or Keppel apple, is a type of fruit from the Keppel fruit tree in humid evergreen forests in Southeast Asia. You will only find it growing in central Java, Indonesia, so it's not exactly a very common fruit to see in your local grocery store. The plant produces glossy green leaves, and the fruit grows on the bottom part of the trunk with the largest branches. Take a bite, and you'll notice a spicy type flavor that's not too much different from mango. They also look a bit like a mango, given that they are green to yellow, but they only grow up to about 1.6 inches big. Surprisingly, this fruit has many uses. The peel has absorbent properties, which means it functions well as an oral deodorant. Studies have even shown that it can reduce the smell of feces, so that's quite helpful. It's also been used to treat gout and prevent kidney inflammation, while the leaves are used to lower cholesterol. Number 11. Buddha's Hand uh, Hey friend, what are you eating? Uh, Buddha's Hand. Buddha's what? Yeah, it seems unusual, right? But when you see this fruit, you'll gain a sense of why it's given the name it was. It's a fingered citron fruit with segments that look a bit like fingers. It apparently resembles those seen in representations of the Buddha, so that's how it got its name in China, Japan, France, and other countries. There are actually different varieties of this fruit, but they all still have the same name. This is because some are of a closed hand appearance, while the other type is an open hand type. Some also have half fingers, which tend to be in South and East Asia. The citron tree on which this unique fruit grows is small with thorn-covered branches, oblong, pale green leaves, and white flowers. The finger parts of the fruit don't tend to have much pulp, and some have no juice or seeds at all. So they are like your average citrus fruit. They tend to be eaten with the zest as a flavoring in desserts, alcoholic beverages, savory dishes, and even candy. Number 10. Jabuticaba the Jabuticaba tree is a tree native to Brazil that's known for fruit that grows directly onto the trunk. They are purplish black in color and have white pulp. While they may not look all that appealing, you can actually eat this fruit raw or use it to make wine, juice, jelly, or jam. The tree on which the fruit grows can reach heights of up to 50 feet and produce salmon pink leaves that eventually turn green. White flowers grow directly out of the trunk, which eventually causes fruit to grow up to half a dozen times throughout the year. Seeing fruit grow on the tree trunks is quite bizarre, which is what makes this fruit even more unique. Due to the fibrous root system of the tree, it's easy enough to grow in pots and transplant. And once you taste the fruit, you'll be wanting such a tree for yourself. The thick-skinned berries are around 1.5 inches in diameter and look a bit like grapes. They have that purplish exterior, but underneath is white or rosy flesh with seeds inside. This fruit has been cultivated for hundreds of years, so it's probably not surprising that there are commercial crops in South and Central Brazil. Although seed-grown trees can take up to two decades to bear fruit, I'd say it's worth the wait. Number 9. Blood Lime As gross-sounding as the name is, the blood lime is actually quite a delicious fruit, and aside from the red coloring, it doesn't look all that much different from your standard and kinda dull green lime. Blood limes can sometimes be called Australian blood limes, and they're actually a hybrid citrus fruit developed by the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, so they aren't naturally grown. They were created from red finger limes in the Ellendale Mandarin Hybrid to investigate salt-resistant 
and crops, and they have proved suitable for high salt conditions. The first commercial crops of blood limes appeared in 2004, and they have been considered for exports. They are about 1.6 inches long and 0.8 inches wide, which means they are slightly smaller than most other limes. They are also much sweeter, which makes a change given how sour limes can be. When you cut them open, the flesh appears to be a blood red color with bits of red and orange. Funnily enough, the flesh can also be green like your standard lime, although unlike a regular lime, you can eat the skin of a blood lime. That saves a lot of admin work with peeling. Number 8. Snake Fruit Salak is a palm tree species from Sumatra and Java in Indonesia that's grown as a food crop to produce snake fruit. These fruits are red to brown with scaly skin and are about the same size as a fig. You can't eat the skin, but you can peel it back by pinching the tip to reveal the edible pulp inside. Inside are three lobes, two larger and one smaller, kind of like garlic cloves. They also have a similar consistency to garlic. Inside of each of the lobes is a large, inedible seed. Take a bite and you'll be pleasantly surprised. They may look and feel like garlic, but they certainly don't taste like garlic. They have an acidic and sweet flavor and a texture that changes from one snake fruit to the next. Some are moist and crunchy, while others are dry and crumbly. But whichever texture you get, you'll likely notice that the flavor's quite similar to a mixture of lemon juice and watered-down pineapple. There are a few different varieties of this fruit, but they are popular with locals and tourists alike. Number 7. Durian the durian looks more like a weapon than a fruit, and you can almost guarantee that trying to eat the outside of one is probably as painful as being hit with one. There are over 300 durian varieties in Thailand and 100 in Malaysia, but only one is available on the international market. They are known for their thorn-covered rind, large size, and strong odor. Durian grows up to about 12 inches long, 6 inches in diameter, and they tip the scales at up to 7 pounds. There can also be a lot of variation in their coloring, with some being green and others brown. The inside flesh can be red or pale yellow, depending on which of the several dozen species you're eating. You might also adore one type of durian, but loathe the next. They are all different. Some have a lovely, sweet fragrance, while others actually smell downright unpleasant. And by unpleasant, we really do mean unpleasant. Think raw sewage and rotten onions. The smell is so bad that some Southeast Asian hotels and public transport businesses have banned them, mainly because the odor seems to linger for days. So why do people buy them and eat them? Well, they have a yummy, rich custard and almond flavor. Number 6. Longan Longan are tropical trees that produce fruit in tropical Asia and China. You would describe the fruit from the tree as being quite similar to a lychee, except they aren't as aromatic. When shelled, they look like eyeballs with a tiny black seed on the inside that looks a bit like a pupil, so you can imagine that kids have a lot of fun with them. When ripe and harvested, the outer shell is thin, firm, and bark-like. You can peel them easily by squeezing the pulp out. If you ever notice that the shells are a bit more tender and have more moisture, you may find it harder to peel them. Typically, they can get into this condition by being harvested prematurely or due to undesirable weather conditions or transport problems. Once harvested, the fruit is deliciously succulent, sweet, and juicy. You can eat them raw like you would many other fruits, but they are also put in soups, snacks, and desserts. They can also be dried, added to syrup in cans, or produced in sweet and sour dishes. They are the jack of all trades. I mean, fruits. Number 5. Mangosteen if you ever get tired of your apple a day to keep the doctor away, see if you can get your hands on some delicious mangosteen. They are fruit from the mangosteen tree that grows in southwest India, southeast Asia, and other tropical areas like Puerto Rico, Colombia, and even Florida. The trees grow up to about 80 feet high, and each yields about 3,000 fruit. They reach maturity at about 45 years old and produce for up to about a century, if not longer. The fruit of mangosteen trees is absolutely delicious. 
They have a deep red to purple rind, which you can't eat, and that's housing a juicy, sweet, and tangy flesh on the inside, similar to citrus fruit. Each fruit has a seed on the inside, about the same shape and size as an almond. You can actually find mangosteen in most Western countries as fresh fruit, frozen, or canned. Although, unless they've been fumigated or irradiated to kill the Asian fruit fly, they were actually illegal to import into the U.S. until around 2007. Until restrictions were loosened, they cost about $60 a pound in specialty stores. Number 4. Rambutan Have you ever seen a more unusual-looking fruit? I don't think so. The rambutan is a medium-sized tropical tree from Southeast Asia that produces this unusual-looking fruit of the same name. The fruit is round to oval and produced with around 20 in a cluster. They have reddish, leathery skin, and this is covered with little fleshy spines that actually look like hairs. The flesh of the rambutan is translucent to white pink and has a grape-like acidic flavor that's quite delicious. Inside each of the small fruits is a seed that can be cooked and eaten. You can also eat the peeled rambutan raw or cook it if you wish. Thailand is the largest producer of rambutan, growing about 450,000 of the fluffy wee guys each year. Thailand and Malaysia are not far behind. These countries sell the fruit fresh, and as they only ripen on the tree, they don't have a very long shelf life. When you eat them, you may be surprised at the nutrients. Rambutan fruit contains 78% water, 21% carbs, and 1% protein. There's only a tiny amount of manganese in canned varieties, and the seeds have saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Number 3. Sugar Apple When is an apple not an apple? when it's a sugar apple from the Americas and West Indies with strange knobby bits all over it. The sugar apple, also called an atis, is up to 4 inches in diameter and weighs up to about 8.5 ounces. It has a thick rind with knobby bits, pale green to blue-green coloring, and sometimes a deep pink blush coloring. Surprisingly, the sugar apple also has segments, and these separate when ripe. Eating the flesh of this apple will be unlike any other apple you've ever had before. Before. It's sweet and fragrant and has a light yellow, creamy coloring that looks a bit custard-like. It also tastes like custard. You would definitely include one of these apples in your lunchbox if you wanted to treat your body like a temple. They are high in energy and give you plenty of vitamin C, manganese, vitamin B, thiamine, potassium, iron, magnesium, and phosphorus. It's definitely up there with some of the most nutrient-rich fruits and vegetables. And who would have thought that something as delicious as custard could also so be good for you. Number 2. Banana Passion Fruit You see a long, slender yellow fruit and you immediately identify it as a banana. But is it a banana, or could it be something else? Well, it might also be the banana passion fruit. Banana passion fruit measures about 5 inches long and grows on long vines about 22 feet long. They might look like bananas, but they confusingly smell like oranges, and their skin is thick and leathery. This unusual fruit also turns from green to a bright orange-yellow color as it ripens. Before you know it, you can be enjoying the delicious orange pulp with black seeds on the inside, which tastes sweet, juicy, tart, and slightly banana-like. The seeds are edible, but they can be pretty bitter. The plants on which banana passion fruit grow can live for up to two decades and are found as crop plants in South America. A single vine can produce up to 300 fruits. As delicious as they are, banana passion fruit is also good for you. They are excellent sources of antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber, protein, calcium, iron, phosphorus, and carbs. Number 1. Black Support the black sapote is a fruit that sometimes gets called chocolate pudding fruit and black soap apple. It's a persimmon species and comes from evergreen Diospirus nigra trees that grow up to about 82 feet tall. The fruit is shaped like tomatoes and grows up to about 4 inches in diameter with inedible skin. The skin turns from an olive color to deep yellow green once it's ripe. When the fruit is unripe, the pulp is yellow and inedible. However, once it ripens, you're in. 
in for a treat. Its texture, color, and even flavor are all very similar to chocolate pudding. The texture's a bit like papaya, and each fruit has about a dozen seeds within. You can propagate new trees from a seed, and it takes about three or four years for them to produce. Although, once they do, you'll have a hard time getting them to stop. They are heavy fruit bearers, which means you'll never have a shortage of black sapote once your tree starts producing. Fortunately, you can do a lot of things with this fruit, like bake cakes and brownies, make smoothies or mousse, or just eat them raw. The next time you visit the grocery store, you'll probably feel a little bit like they're doing you wrong. Yellow bananas? Red apples? How boring. Imagine if we could have a much wider variety. What would you like to try out of all these fruits you've just learned about? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!